Today we're going to be looking at some rare 2007 mint error coins that are worth some good money. So we'll show you what these coins sold for at auction and what you can be looking for on modern coins that can give them some value. So welcome back to Couch Collectibles. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. As always, if you guys are new, feel free to check out all the other coin and collectible videos here on the channel. As always, let's just hop into this one. All right, starting off first with a 2007 D mint mark. Of course, something like this we're not finding in a coin roll, right? Uh, most likely not. Uh, but the coin has been double struck with that second strike being 80% off center. Graded by PCGS, a coin grading company, at a mint state 65. 70 is the best grade you can get uh, for a coin. This coin sold for over $550 as a result of its condition and its mint error. Now here is another one that you know would fit in a coin roll. This coin has been double struck as well, much different though. This uh, second strike is 40% off center as opposed to 80% off center on the last coin. Now it does have a mint state 66 grade by PCGS as well. And that's why this quarter from 2007 sold for $940. That's right, almost a thousand dollar quarter there. Now here is a 2007 D mint mark Washington State quarter that was struck onto a defective planchet as we can see when we zoom in here on this coin graded by PCGS at a mint state 62. This quarter sold for a little over $130. Here's a 2007 P mint mark Roosevelt dime that has a shattered die with that interior die break. Uh, so that is very, very nice. Uh, we also have the retained cud. So cuds are gonna be there on the rim of the coin. Uh, you'll see that go all the way through Roosevelt's face and uh, to the other side of this Roosevelt dime, right? So this coin ended up selling for over 200 bucks. Not too bad for a 2007 dime. So that's always something that you can look out for in coin rolls from the bank. You can look for cuds, uh, die breaks on all kinds of different coins, not just Roosevelt dimes. Now here's a 2007 D mint mark that is the Delaware State Quarter that has a die cap, a deep die cap here. Look at that, that's amazing. This quarter sold for over $1,600 as a result of that mint error. Now here's a 2007 D mint mark Roosevelt dime. You'll see it does not have an obverse. It has a deep reverse die cap taking place here. And this coin ended up selling for around $460. Can't beat that, man. Look at that. That is amazing. Here's another die cap on a 2007 Roosevelt dime. This coin ended up selling for $900 because of the mint error. It is an SMS special mint set coin. Uh, wow. Very, very nice uh, mint error there, 900 bucks. Here is a 2007 S mint mark Utah State quarter, but this is the proof quarter, so not the regular business strike that we will typically find in our everyday pocket change. Uh, this quarter is graded at a proof 66 deep cameo by PCGS, and this coin was struck onto an elliptical planchet. So this coin ended up selling for over $1,300. $1,300 coin there. Now here is a dollar coin from 2007. You will see that it has, uh, you know, uh, a clip here. It's got double clipped, a large portion of the coin clipped. Uh, and as we zoom in here, you can see that the coin has been double struck. Well, multi struck actually. And also it is missing the edge lettering. So we can't see the edge of this coin, but if you look on these presidential dollars on the edge of them, look at the side of them. Uh, you'll see lettering on the side. So if you're just missing lettering, that's a good thing uh, because people will buy them, uh, especially in good condition. This coin here sold for over $1,300 uh, as well. Now here is another 2007 John Adams presidential dollar coin that was double struck. It also has uh, the missing edge lettering. Uh, man, look at that, and a clip. That is, I mean, that's awesome. I know the bank has so many rolls of dollar coins, it's untelling how many different errors are out there for them. Uh, you know, I never go through and search them. I need to make that video and just search a bunch of presidential dollar coins. That would be really cool. Haven't done that one. Uh, so this coin ended up selling for over $1,800, graded by PCGS at a Mint State 66. Now here's a 2007 S Utah State Quarter. It is the silver proof. Uh, state quarter here and we have a couple indents here on the obverse as we can see there when we zoom in 
Uh, it is a little bit underweight, it says, of course, because of the indents, I'm guessing. And this coin ended up selling for around $215. Now here is a 2007 Wyoming state quarter that is missing the clad layer. So here on the front, the obverse, we'll see the clad layer. It looks very normal like any old state quarter. But here on the reverse, we see the inner copper layer of the quarter because the outer clad layer is missing. And this quarter sold for $180. Now here's another 2007 presidential dollar coin. This is the George Washington dollar coin here that is missing the edge lettering. So again, uh, nothing special here on the front. It's graded at a Mint State 64, certainly not the highest for this coin, uh, but uh, it is missing the edge lettering uh, on the edge of the coin, side of the coin. And this coin sold for around 95 bucks. So, uh, you know, you can't beat that uh, for a $1. Always check the edges of your coin. Now here's the 2007 uh, where the obverse layer is missing and it is also missing the edge lettering this coin sold for over 260 dollars so graded at a mint state 65 by pcgs not too bad here is a 2007 roosevelt dime that was struck off center graded at a mint state 63 by ngc this coin ended up selling for around 55 dollars so you know probably going to pay more to have it graded you know maybe unless you go through annex um but are you going to be able to sell it for 55 bucks? Uh, you know, I don't know. Probably not worth getting graded unless you just want to add it to your collection or maybe you uh, think that it's going to go up in value. Uh, here's a 2007 D mint mark that has been struck 15% off center. Only sold for around $95. But hey, $95 is a lot for one cent. Uh, but again, you have to pay to have these coins graded and things like that. So again, you're not going to make a fortune off something like that. Now this coin you could make some good money on. This coin sold for over $1,100. $1,100 for a double denomination error. So this is a Lincoln cent design that was struck onto a 10 cent coin. So a Lincoln cent that was struck onto a Roosevelt dime. So we'll see both designs of the Lincoln cent and the Roosevelt dime here. Uh, you'll see the outline of Roosevelt's head. You'll see the lettering from the dime uh, uh, here on the reverse as well. This coin, like I say, $1,100. Now here's a 2007 D mint mark Montana state quarter uh, that was actually struck onto a five cent coin. A, uh, so that is awesome. Struck onto a Jefferson nickel five cent planchet. This coin ended up selling for over $1,600 because of that mint error. This coin is super, super rare and valuable, similar to the last coin, but it's not a quarter. It's the presidential dollar design that was struck onto a Jefferson nickel. Uh, this coin sold for over $17,600. You'll actually see the United States there at the bottom from the reverse of the Jefferson nickel. And then you'll see part of Jefferson's hair here uh, on the obverse of the Jefferson nickel here on the back of this $1 coin. So. Man, nearly 18 grand for that coin. Let me know what you guys would do with 18 grand. Now here's the 2007, one of my favorites of this video, 2007 John Adams presidential dollar coin that was struck seven times. Also missing the edge lettering, struck off center. Wow, that is a nice mint error and that's why this coin sold for over $3,100. $3,100 coin there for a $1 presidential dollar. Now here is a 2007 S mint mark. This is the clad version of the Utah State Quarter. It is the proof quarter, graded at a proof 69 ultra cameo. Uh, the reverse here has been struck through. So that is a mint error there, struck through reading. As you can see the, uh, you know, the ripple design there going through the middle of the quarter. This quarter ended up selling for $1,200, all because of that mint error. And of course, because of its condition, if it was in, you know, poor condition, uh, you know, it would sell for less. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.